Aeschylus. My lord. Call hither, I say. Bid come before us, Angelo. What figure of us think you he will bear? For you must know we have, with special soul, elected him our absence to supply, lent him our terror, dressed him with our love, and given his deputation all the organs of our own power. What think you of it? If any in Vienna be of worth to undergo such ample grace and honor, it is Lord Angelo. Look where he comes. Always obedient to your grace's pleasure, I come to know your will. Angelo. There is a kind of character in thy life that to the observer doth thy history fully unfold. Thyself and thy belongings are not their own so proper as to waste thyself upon thy virtue, they upon thee. Heaven doth with us as we with torches do. Hold therefore, Angelo, in our remove be thou at fully ourself, mortality and mercy, here in Vienna live in thy tongue and heart. Old Aeschylus, Though first in question is thy secondary, take thy commission. Now, good my lord, let there be some more test made of my mettle before so noble and so great a figure be stamped upon. No more evasion. We have, with a leavened and prepared choice, proceeded to you. Therefore, take your honor. Our haste from hence is of so quick condition that it prefers itself and leaves unquestioned matters of needful value. We shall write to you as time and our concerning doth importune how it goes with us, and do look to know what doth befall you here. So, fare you well. To the hopeful execution I do leave you of your commission. Yeah, good, my lord. Give leave that we may bring you something on the way. My haste may not admit it, nor need you upon mine honor have to do with any scruple. Your scope is as mine own, so to enforce or qualify the laws as to your soul seems best. Give me your hand. I'll privily away. I love the people, but I do not like to stage me to their eyes. Though it do well, I do not relish well their loud applause and Ave's vehement. Nor do I think the man a safe discretion that does affect me. Once more, fare you well. The heavens give safety to your purposes. Leap forth and bring you back in happiness. Thank you. Fare you well. I shall desire you, sir, to give me leave to have free speech with you. And it concerns me to look into the bottom of my place, a power I have, but of what strength and nature I am not yet instructed. Just so with me. Let us withdraw together, and soon we may have our satisfaction touching that point. I shall wait upon your honor. <laughs>